Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're not subscribed now, please subscribe, leave a like if you like the video, or do it right now. Today I'm going to talk with you guys about the charging issues you can run into by using DC charging station, the CCS chargers, with all built Volkswagen Kiaps, Skoda City Girls, and ZF Me built from July and August 2020. The normal issue or the normal charging is you arrive at the charging station, you plug in your car and you charge and you're happy the car is charging. But currently you run into issues at certain charging stations that you're not capable to DC fast charge your car on so-called hypercharger or HPC chargers like Ionity is using them in Europe plus EMBW is using them all around Germany. The issue you're going to experience is that you plug in your car, initiate charging and the charging will terminate within 13 seconds and you will not capable to charge even 1 kilowatt hours. Now I'm going to show you the procedure, or better said, the standard situation you might run into or already run into and you couldn't charge a car. You arrive at your charging station. Unlock the charge port and insert the CCS port. After you walk over to your charging station and initiate the charging process. The only issue the charger won't charge your car. Charging will be terminated within 30 seconds. So just give it a moment and you will see how the charging is going to be terminated. Charging completed. We did not charge at all. And what should we do? Imagine the situation you arrive almost empty on a charging station on a motorway and you just have left one of these hyperchargers or a Ionity charger, you won't be capable to charge. Now I'm going to show you workaround in case you get stranded with your brand new Volkswagen, Seat or Skoda car so that you will be still capable to charge on a so-called HPC charger. You partly repeat the procedure. The cars turn off. You take the charging cord. Insert it back to the charge port. And now you return to the interior of your car. Put the key inside. Turn it once. So you turn the car basically on. And now the magic is going to happen. As you can see, the charging process is going to start now. Okay guys, as you can see now, the car is charging after the resistor charge. We all have this issue because the Volkswagen Group probably installed a wrong charging protocol on all of our new cars. And it's not only me running into this issue. It's around 50 to 100 owners of brand new Kiaps, Mies or Citigos which have the same issue as I have. I recorded the video last month about this issue in the German language. Actually, I just wanted to put subtitles under it to explain you how you're capable to charge your car on a HPC charger. But I decided to make a video for you guys in English because we in Europe, English is an international language and this car is not only sold in Europe, it's sold all over the European Union and outside the European Union. It's a reliable car 
I'm going to report a video in the near future about all of the issues. I had driven the car so far 1,500 kilometers, which is roughly 1,000 miles. Um, it still has some issues I'm going to share with you in the next videos. And for a price for 14,000 euros, after all of the state benefits you receive for EV in Europe, or better said, in Germany, it's unbeatable. The car is definitely cheaper as EV as the standard combustion engine model. And so far I'm pretty happy with it. The EC charging speed is too low. I think Volkswagen limited the charging capabilities of the Citigo and the Mi Electric compared to the E-Up. But overall it's a really nice and so far reliable car. So guys, I really hope I could help you out with my video so that you guys are not going to run into the same issue as I experienced it already quite a few times and couldn't charge. And if you really liked the video, please like the video, leave a comment and subscribe if you wait for future videos about an EV beginner's car. So thank you for watching and take care.